Microsoft Gemini in one minute or less. Let's create relationships between objects in Gemini. Here we have um, a table of rack power usage in a data center, and you can see the list of data centers here. If I go back to Excel, I can import a table which gives me information about the geography out of these data centers and their regions. If I want to link that geography table to the rack power usage table, I can do that by creating a relationship and choosing to create a relationship from geography data center to rack power usage data center. But you'll notice that first of all, we detect that relationship automatically. We know you want to join on data center, but we also give you some information that says the relationship cannot be created in this direction. You can't look up from geography to rack power usage, but you can do it the other way around. We'll invert the relationship automatically, show you the columns which include relationships with this little icon. And then if I go into manage relationships, you'll see that we've created a relationship between rack power usage and geography. We look up to geography. And that's actually pretty useful that we can detect the direction of the relationship for you automatically.